today is the day that I finally get my nose done. And this has been something I've wanted since I was 13 years old, which sounds really extreme, but that's just the truth of it. Like I've never really liked my nose. I never really felt like it fit me. Like I just didn't really like it. And so today's the day where I go in for surgery. This has been actually really quick compared to normal. I only went in for a consult end of September and it's only the 27th of October and I'm getting my surgery. Normally I would be waiting until probably April next year, maybe like even May or something. They had some openings, so I moved ahead twice. So today's the surgery. I've already had breakfast today. I'm currently on my fast, so I can't eat for like six hours. I'm just waiting. I'm getting admitted into hospital at 12 and then my surgery would probably be I'd say like 12 30 1 o'clock the surgeon said the surgery would probably be about two and a half hours so I'm getting a rhinoplasty so getting the bump taken off um he's pushing the tip up just a little bit just to prevent any drooping because apparently that's quite common and I'm also just getting my nose centered a little bit more on my face because it's a little bit off to the side and then I'm also getting a septoplasty to fix my deviated septum because this is my breathing at the moment that's from a good nostril <laughs> That's from my blocked nostril, so I'm getting that all fixed. Very excited, two and a half hours, and then she said about two to two and a half hours in recovery as well. So I should maybe be out, I'm gonna say five or six-ish. I guess it just depends. They might go overtime, they might not. It all just depends, really. Just thought I should make a little video because this is just something that is so exciting and something that makes me really happy. I'm actually not even that nervous. Like, I have a lot of faith in my surgeon. I'm seeing Dr. Raymond Go from Valley Plastic Surgeon. I know three people that have gone to him. They've all turned out really well. Like, I have complete faith in him. Even during my consult, he just knew what he was doing, basically. Like, he just understood what was happening. I came in with my Medicare referral for my deviated septum, because you can get that fixed through the healthcare system. But obviously, because I wanted a bit of, like, um cosmetics done as well. I felt like if I'm gonna get this fixed anyway, because I knew that I needed to get my nose fixed for my sleep, for my breathing, like for everything, because it's been shit. I may as well just get it all done in one go. I got a CT scan on my face just to confirm the deviated septum, which I knew I had anyway, because my breathing, but I just got it anyway. to so, like make sure that I qualified to get the Medicare rebates, because otherwise I may not have been able to get them. So yeah, that's all done. Did a bit of recovery shopping yesterday. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to eat. I got a lot of healthy food, some shitty snacks, I asked other people who have had this procedure done for, like any advice they had. Most of them said it was pretty chill. Just stay in bed, relax, drink water, etc. Anyway, so I went a little bit all out. So let's go see what I got. Start off with, I actually got this, which I'm pretty sure is a weight loss thing, but it just looked really yummy. Some butter menthol, some home ram panadol. I got some sticky date pudding cake mix in case I got um, bored. Monte Carlo, chocolate, add some twisties. Now, onto more of the healthy stuff. Some juice, kombucha, some strawberries, blueberries. I got some little baby yogurt pouches because I thought this would be kind of cute. Also, I got some lactose free, so we'll see how that goes. Also, I got some normal yogurt, mandarins, avocado. I got some grapes, which I decided to freeze because frozen grapes are so good. And lastly, a bunch of bananas because why not? Not to mention a shit ton of vitamin C. That is pretty much all my shit that I bought from the shop. That's probably a few other things that I couldn't be bothered trying to find, but anyway. I shaved my face, I've moisturized. I'm still a little bit sunburned, especially on my forehead. So hopefully that won't cause issues. I had a bit of a burn on the bridge of my nose, which looks like it's mostly gone down. So we'll see how it goes. Still have to take all my piercings out, but I'll probably do that right before we leave. Cause I feel like that's probably just the best thing to do. Other than that, pretty much ready for surgery. I've never had an operation before. I think I had one when I was like a kid or something like a baby, but otherwise like I haven't had any, especially in my adult life. So. Excited, had my last sleep ever in my house with this nose and it was fucking horrible. It was so hot. This is me just putting socks on, so sorry about that. First of all, do you like the uh, picture on my wall? Go to the op shop. Couldn't say no to that. So here is the hospital fit for today. So it's pretty basic. I have a big comfy shirt on. They said to do a button up shirt, but none of them really felt that comfy. So I thought I'd go with something that feels nice and like soft. And then I just have some like exercise shorts on and then I have burkies with socks because I feel like it'll be a bit cold in the hospital. Also my little gash I got yesterday severely damaged myself and I'm in a lot of pain, especially around my ankles because I kept smashing them into shit while we were rebuilding. I have my little cash baggie ready. So in here is my hospital money. It is $2,159.65. So I'm gonna be rocking up to the hospital with a little baggie. So exciting. So we're heading with gorgeous mum, my Uber driver, to Brisbane now for the surgery in Fortitude Valley. It is actually such an amazing day to just be put under the knife and be inside all day. So Wow. We are at 
of the hospital in the parking. Let's get it. recovery right now they told me to keep the compression socks on for i think like a week or something which is fine but i think that's pretty funny so i'm gonna be wearing these little sockies oh my toes are sticking out so this is my little thing i was like just down there outside like the operating room but i was like can i have my phone and they were like no <laughs> you're not allowed your phone here and i was like can i please have my phone so this is what it looks like and this is the other side. Obviously I have a cast on my face. There's quite a bit of blood coming out of the gauze. My bruising isn't too bad, to be honest. Obviously it's not the best, but it's not too bad. And apparently I was in surgery for like four hours. So hopefully they don't slug me any extra fees for that. 6.40 now and my mum just coming to pick me up. So I'm just kind of chilling, just kind of chilling. Do it pretty. See how much scented my nose looks? Love it. I'll check back in later. Maybe tomorrow or maybe on my drive home, but I'll probably just pass out. Heading home. Pass this slide, then at the next one, use the left two lanes to bear left onto Barry Parade. Heading home, surgery. Doctor said it went really well. I remember everything, believe it or not. Oh, so, we're excited. Let's ride. Bitches know they can't catch me. Okay, guys, whole time out of home in the hospital under Cetron. Oh, shit. Cefloxin or whatever. Cefloxin. I can't really pronounce these words right now. Batraban. Oxycodone on the endone. And then they gave me like a water bottle and some other stuff. There's my wallet in there. Do they give me a little chucks to wipe down the sink with? No, that's um, a nice pack. I'm gonna be doing some dishes with this, thank you guys. I got some socks. Changing my gauze. Sorry if this is a little bit gory. It's like really runny. It feels like when you're really sick and you've got like a really runny nose, but I can't blow my nose. So it's just like sitting there and just like dripping out. That's what it feels like. Oh, uh, except it's blood and I just had a nose job. Okay, day one. Back home. My bruising is actually looking really good so far. There's been a lot of blood that's been discharging out of my nose, but considering the amount of work I had done inside my nose, not really too surprised by that. It's looking pretty good though. I'm pretty happy with it. But last night I did have the best sleep, but considering I have to be mouth breathing at the moment, it's not really much of a surprise. Pretty happy. Hopefully it keeps going well. I'll probably update as the day goes by. Let's hope it stays this way. Okay, so day one's over. I'm actually looking really good. I have a bit of bruising under the eyes. Not really any swelling. Also, my lips look really good, believe it or not. Don't really know why that is. Same with my skin, but honestly, not too bad. My entire nose is blocked. I don't know if you can hear it bubbling when I talk. It just keeps doing it. I don't know why. Also, I noticed he was drawing on my face. He has 30 degrees, the letter B, and uh, just a straight line across my face. So I was thinking, what says no strong more than 30 degrees, letter B, and uh, straight line? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna put some new gauze under my nose because my nose is still a little bit runny. Take my tablets and I probably just pass out. So day one, complete. Morning of day two. My eyes just starts to look a little bit puffy, but it's not that bad. And my bruising's still kind of the same. I feel like it's getting a little bit worse, but it's meant to peak around day three, so this isn't too surprising. I slept so much better last night. Like, I probably slept from about 9.30 to, I think, like, 1.30, and then fell instantly back asleep, and then woke up at 3.30. Fall asleep again, woke up at 4.30, fell asleep again, woke up at 5.30, and then I've been up since pretty much 5.30, 6 o'clock. It's now 7 o'clock on the dot. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Still can't breathe out my nose. Can you hear it bubbling when I talk? I don't know, it, like, it's making noises, honestly. Not bad, so let's see how today goes. Day three. Bruising's not too bad. Definitely a bit more swollen as you can probably tell around my eyes, but compared to other cases I've seen, it's not too bad. Obviously, the way I'm talking, my nose is still very blocked. My bruising's got a little bit more on this eye, a tiny bit here, but like it hasn't really changed, which is good. I know today's meant to be the worst or maybe tomorrow is, so I'm pretty happy with this being kind of like my worst case so far, but I guess we'll just see how it goes. I feel all right though. Like my sleep last night wasn't too bad. It was a little bit hard for me to get to sleep. Felt like my heart 
heart rate was like pounding. My mind was like racing as well, which I was having a look and that could be like a side effect of endo, weirdly enough, even though it also is like a sedative. Otherwise, feeling pretty good. New day, almost over the hump. Yeah, I don't really know what I was to say to be honest, but I'll keep you updated. Quick update, I'm not wearing the compression stockings anymore. The hospital said to wear them for a week and then the practice said to wear them, I think it was like the first like one or two days. They were getting a little bit dirty. I just thought like maybe I'd just try without them. So last time I went without them and I feel pretty okay. I don't know if that would have helped with spilling or not. I am walking around again, so it's not too bad because they said to make sure that I'm like still able to walk around by the time that I can take them off. I hope that makes sense. I don't even know if that made any sense. But anyway, everything's going good. The fart noise. I can't stop it. It happens every time I talk and like every time I swallow or anything, it's kind of shit. <laughs> Still day three, thought I'd do an afternoon update. My eyes don't look as swollen. I feel like they have gone down a bit. My bruising's not too bad. It's kind of stayed the same, but yeah, nothing too crazy. I have noticed though, I do have a bit more swelling around here on my jaw. I don't know if you can really notice that. It's only quite slight. This side, not so much, but yeah, this side, it's kind of like bulging out a little bit here. Pain-wise, everything's still going good. I definitely feel like I'm starting to improve. Like I think tomorrow probably won't be too bad. I think maybe today will be the worst and I'll really start to go up from here, but I'm pretty chill. And now I've got mom. I want to make some dinner. I feel so bad for Boca. Because all I want to do is just play with him. But I can't because I'm basically just impaired right now. We'll get that soon enough. Only a few more days to go. Also... Oh, so I just cut a shit that way. Also, I've literally just been inside pretty much for the past, what, like three days, just like watching Netflix or Disney Plus, like on the couch. And don't get me wrong, like it's kind of nice just to like chill out and catch up, but I have been so bored. So even just coming outside today, like the weather has been really good and I'm really pissed that the weather decided to clear out while I'm healing because I really would just rather be at the beach or doing anything else. But like just coming outside, I'm like, oh my God, so nice. Anyways, not long to go. At least I'm mobilized now. At least I can do things. So I'm not going to complain. Count your blessings. I am so thankful that, that is not me. <laughs> Day four today, bruising is looking so much better along here. It's like basically yellow, so it's almost gone. Eyes are still a bit swollen. Jaw's got a bit better. It was a bit more swollen yesterday, I think. But I'm also not wearing a gauze for the moment. My nose isn't too runny. It's been fairly runny the past few days, but I decided I'd just try and like let it kind of like air out or just like let it be for a little while. And then I might put one on later if I need. As you can see, I've got my little antibiotic ointment on there. But I feel pretty good today. Can't complain. I think we're definitely getting somewhere. Yesterday afternoon was probably the best. I felt. I feel pretty good today as well, but I've just woken up, so let's we'll see how it goes. We're definitely on the mend. We're coming down the hill now. Drug update, because I don't know if I've actually gone through everything I've been taking. I've got my cephalexin, which is my antibiotics, which I take four times a day. I've got regular paracetamol. I've got oxycodone, which I've been taking mostly at night. I took it one time during the day the other day, but it just makes me really loopy, but it does help me a little bit with sleep. Then I've got my Bactroban ointment, which is what I put here on my stitches. Then I've got Coloxal with Setter, because um, the oxycodone has been making me really constipated. And then I've also got some vomit medication, like an anti but I haven't needed to take that, which is really good. Literally every single day, I'm taking so many tablets, which is like my worst fear. Like I would hate to grow up to be someone that has to like take medication all the time like i'm someone that's very much like do it the natural way i mean that's like kind of funny about it it feels like it's such an effort to take so many tablets like it's really not you just like pop them out and then just like swallow it with some water it's a little bit hard because of my nose but still like i've noticed that the fact that i have to take them so often sometimes like four times a day makes me think like fuck this like i don't want to do it and obviously i am doing it especially with like all the antibiotics and stuff because i don't want to get an infection oh my god it's like i seriously can't be fucked anymore like i just want to give up but I will not I will prevail I'm sticking with it all it's definitely taught me that this is not who I want to be when I'm older <laughs> It's day five today. It's actually the afternoon. It's like 4 p.m. right now. I've just been having a really chill morning, literally watching like every Disney Pixar movie ever, kind of like really my childhood. But today's gone really well. Hardly any bruising. I still have a little like light across there on my eye and a little bit on this inner corner as well. But otherwise, I'm feeling really good. Swelling's gone down, especially in my jaw. Like I feel like I almost look normal. Obviously, nose is still a bit swollen. I'm definitely seeing the vision for the nose coming through, which I'm really like happy about. And also, I've definitely noticed I feel a lot more open at the nose like i feel like my days were swelling despite how my voice sounds i feel like it has definitely gone down 
feel like it definitely has gone down quite a lot, to be honest. I did actually realize how congested and like full my nose felt throughout like days one, two, three, and even four, but today it feels a lot more open. Definitely over the hump, feeling a lot better today. This is definitely the best I've felt since maybe even day one, but I guess day one I was just still a little bit loopy and fucked up. I get my cast off on Friday and it's Tuesday at the moment. Literally three days, but well, two and a half really when I think about it. So fucking cannot wait for that. Honestly, live laugh loving, except my nose is still a bit runny and I'm still not wearing the gauze. I wore it last night when I went to sleep and I didn't really have much come out. So I have high hopes, but I'm still probably gonna wear it at night just in case anyway. But yeah, definitely a lot better. And I finished my antibiotics today. Um, I have one last tablet to take tonight and then I'm done. Then it's literally just like pain meds. So yeah, almost done, so excited. Is it obvious that I'm filming this on Snapchat? I actually have a proper filming camera, but we can't find the charger for the battery. So I was like, well, it's fucking dead. No, no use in that. I would film it on the normal camera, but I kind of get scared of how I look because everything gets flipped around. It's kind of like those things on like TikTok where it's like people looking at the true mirror and they like just break down and start crying. <sighs> I like did it. I don't know who I am right now. That's kind of how I feel. So I decided to play it safe. I look at Snapchat, even though the normal camera would show how I really look. But you know, you guys, it's gonna good enough to look on this, I think. But yeah, anyway, no mental breakdowns. Not today. It's the end of day five. Everything's all good as previously mentioned. But I have this lingering garlic smell in my nose, and it is pissing me off. All I can smell, especially from my left nostril, garlic, like. So annoying. I talked to someone else I know that's had this procedure done and they said that they had the same thing for about a week. I'm hoping it'll just last for a week and it's not like either a serious issue or something that will last for like, you know, a month or longer. Literally just fucking garlic and it makes me want to... Good morning. It is day six. The sun is shining. The skies are blue. I have bear here as well as, of course, Nurse Bokey. Nurse Bokey! Hey, gorgeous. I'm currently outside. This is really the best lighting, but uh, it wasn't much better in the sun anyway. I'm undercover, but you know, it's definitely still penetrating through. I feel really good today. Bruising is basically all gone. I can't really see around my eyes at this present moment, but I feel pretty much normal. All the swelling's pretty much gone. Obviously, I still sound like I am extremely sick. I blame that on the nasal packaging because I still can't breathe through my nose. My sleep last night still wasn't the best because again, I literally have to mouth breathe, so it could only really be so good. Definitely not complaining at all. Still live, laugh, loving. And I woke up today to a lovely little Snapchat supercut. So it's a clip here. <laughs> I still claim Snapchat superiority, even though it's dying. I just think it's definitely the best. Speaking of which, I'm filming on it right now, so that doesn't tell you. Get my casted stuff off in two days, so it's Wednesday today. Friday, 1.30, coming at you. Pretty much 48 hours, I'm getting my shit off. Very, very keen. I've literally been binging Disney Pixar movies. Like, I have been watching, first of all, so much TV. Uh, I've literally just been watching, like, Disney movie after Disney movie, just for, like, the nostalgia. Like, I have literally watched... Monsters Inc, Monsters University, Wally, Cars 1, Cars 2, Toy Story. I watched Up, I watched fucking everything. I watched like six yesterday. I just watched Ratatouille then. Like, I'm just on such a roll, just reliving my childhood, basically. It's been really, really good. Anyway, this is me signing off. Also, may I mention just having to get up and like put clothes on. It is like so hard for my brain. Like, I don't know if it's the fact that I've been on like opioids and painkillers and like general anesthetic for like the last few days. Having to like pick out clothes is really hard. Like, I've just gone for a t-shirt and like exercise shorts. It's really nothing special. But just having to actually like pick them out and put them on soul crushing like it is so hard the urge to just wear the same clothes for like seven days has really been fighting me but i've been really trying that's all really <laughs> um and i will talk later good morning campers it is day seven one whole week of this nose and i'm really happy i get my cast and shit off tomorrow which i'm so excited for i've already been up and had breakfast i just decided to lay in bed and watch youtube for a bit and then i'm gonna continue editing because even though i won't be posting it until at least six weeks post op because i would like to do an update then because that's what i'm gonna go back in for more photos and stuff at the clinic but i just think why not just start doing it now and also i'm running out of storage on my phone so i need to like transfer all the videos across but yeah, I'm probably just gonna keep editing and have a really chill day today. Also, I thought I should show this because I haven't really shown how I sleep, but I pretty much sleep laying like straight up, like against the wall. 
Like, this is just how I've been sleeping for the last seven nights. And I just think it's so funny. I'm stacked up against the wall because you gotta raise your head up. It helps with the swelling because, you know, blood doesn't pull upwards. Gravity pulls it down. But then also for bruising and stuff as well. And I was very lucky with my bruising and my swelling. I did have some of both, but it wasn't really anything severe. Maybe this helped me. Maybe it's just genetics. Maybe it's... Who fucking knows? I couldn't tell you. But either way, this is how I've been sleeping. I think as of tomorrow, I could actually sleep normally again. Exciting. And another little update for today as well. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I still wear my gauze when I sleep, just like under my nose, just in case. Because while I'm awake, if I can feel anything dripping, then I can go like wipe it or clean up my nose. But when I'm asleep, I'm asleep. But I took it off this morning and there was no residue left on my gauze. So that's really good because, you know, all night, nothing dripped out. It has obviously been getting better over time. So not really surprised by that, but always really reassuring. I'm probably still going to wear it tonight anyway, just in case, like, you never really know. I think it should be okay, but I'd rather that than have to wake up and, like, wipe out my nose and clean it if I have, like, shit dripping out. But yeah, very, very happy. Day eight. Good fucking morning. Today, cast coming up, splints are coming out. I am so fucking excited. I'm just really, really excited to breathe for once. Like the cast isn't really that big of a deal, but like I am so excited to get off, see my new nose, be able to breathe. I'm actually able to breathe a lot better this morning, weirdly enough. Like I just woke up and I can kind of like, So I don't know what changed with the night, but yeah, I can actually breathe. It's not necessarily free breathing. I still have to try pretty hard. And it's not necessarily the best. My appointment's at 1.30, so I probably won't leave until about maybe 12.15, roughly, because it's the middle of the day, so there shouldn't really be any traffic. Probably start getting ready. I still have to shave. Fun fact, this is me after not shaving for eight days. In case anyone was wondering, like over a week and this is what I look like. It's just... Facial hair just isn't up for me, but that's fine because I don't really think I look good with facial hair anyway. I think my sister's taking me out, Rachel, so that'll be fun. Until then, I'll probably just keep editing. I have a few more clips from yesterday. I actually literally power edited four hours yesterday and edited like the entire vlog. Also, I was actually meant to get the cast off on Wednesday, fun fact, so on day six. But in a way, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm getting it off today instead. Why that is, is because my mum was going to take me and she is like less busy on Fridays. I could probably take myself, to be honest, but I just feel like it would better if I went with someone. Rachel said that she would take me instead. But yeah, I'm really glad that I waited. Sorry, <laughs> the extra like two days anyway. Just cause I feel like my nose is obviously a bit more healed. You know, like I can even like kind of breathe a bit now. I just think overall it was just like a better thing for me just to give it like an extra two days as opposed to getting it off at six days. Very excited, very excited, very excited. I feel like I actually sound quite normal today, believe it or not. I don't know if that's because my nose is just a little bit more unblocked because I can definitely feel air going through both nostrils. This whole time it's always been one or the other. I haven't really been able to have air come out of both. I feel fine. Nose is still a bit stiff and everything because there's shit in it, but you know, I'm, I can talk. I'm a talking donkey. I found out last night that I can't really smile right now. And we were like, just having a laugh and I was like smiling, but it just doesn't, it doesn't translate. This is what I look like when I smile now. Because my top lip is like paralyzed, like even eating and stuff, like I can't move it or like brushing my teeth, like I can't just have to go anyway and my lip like sticks out, but yeah, it's just like... <laughs> it's just what I look like when I smile right now. On the way to Brizzy with gorgeous Rachel Strike, really excited. Traffic is looking a bit crazy on the way home, but so far not too bad for us on the way there. We're also meeting Gia up there as well. She's going to get her nails done because for some reason she decided to go get them done in Brisbane. We'll keep you updated as we go. Juice check. Uh, we have arrived. This is my first time in public with the cast on post op, and I am so excited to get it off. Here we come. Woo! No, but yeah. Anyway, she didn't come in to see me at work, but she went to go and get her nails done.
That is so cool. <laughs> that looks so weird. Like it looks good. I just mean like it doesn't. It looks sensitive. Is that me? <laughs> Hello, handsome. I can definitely see it is swollen. Dr. Go, you guys. He's the go. He's a business, isn't he? He's, he means business when he walks yeah. in this joint. My face is a bit red from the alcohol wipes. She did the best clean. Anyone needs their nose clean? Beck from Valley Plastic Surgery. Give her a call. <laughs> I can like smile again too. That's reassuring. We are out in the city with my new nose. Full tape. And my little splints. We got Rachel and Gia. I got my little take home kit for cleaning. So and excited and I can smile again which is so good because I was really nervous I would not be able to smile guys we are in the car just wanted to talk about my experience in there because there's a few videos Rachel got especially after my cast came off and my reaction which is really exciting she took my splints out I had these big silicon splints in my nose I was just really nervous like the way she was saying it I was like oh my god like this is really gonna hurt but it, it didn't it felt fine it almost felt like I had this really big like clogged up nose of snot and she just like pulled it all out which sounds a bit gross but like I promise you it actually felt kind of nice I currently have a little retainer in and it's so nice to be able to breathe through my nose. They said to wear this as much as I can until I go back next week for a follow-up. Really good experience, lots of cleaning. I just have to keep this tape on for a week. I also have a night routine, so I've got some cleaning to do. I won't really go into detail right now. I'll do that when I get home. Good times. Thank you, Rage, for taking me. Back home now, as you can see. I thought I'd show you what I got. First of all, I have tape on my nose. So I'm leaving this on for a week. Then I have my splints. They said just to wear them as much as possible. So I really will try and keep them in. They come in like a little case. I also have this Fest spray. So this is just like a little saline spray that you just like pump up into your nose. They also gave me this. This is saline as well. But it also has antibiotics in it, like a tablet. They've given me some gauze and I just soak gauze in there and then just put it up each nostril. Leave it for like 15 minutes and take it out and it'll be all good. That is my new day and night routine. I'll probably do an update at the end of the week when I go back in but otherwise there's nothing really changing. Hello everyone it's now night time it's just past 10 p.m and I'm ready to start my new nighttime routine. That's pretty much what you've all come here to watch isn't it? Let's start by taking this out. I'm assuming I can just grab it and pull it out. Oh that's actually coming out really easily. Oh, this is how big it is. So it goes all the way up to there in my nose. It felt a little bit uncomfortable when she put it in. Not like painful, but just it felt wrong in a way. Like when you have a COVID test kind of like that. She said just to clean this out as well. So I'll just give it a little rinse then go have a shower and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. May I just say first and foremost, the breathing so far, exceptional. Especially from this nostril, I can really feel a difference. The fact that it went from basically having like no air coming and now I can feel it. It is so good. So thank you, Dr. Go. <laughs> Love you. I'm probably just going to grab a Q-tip like I've been doing. I've just put this in some hot water because I feel like it helps a bit with snot compared to going with a, a dry stiff one. I'm just going to give it a really quick clean out with this. Does this make anyone uncomfortable? Like having this up here because this does not bother me at all like i don't know if it's because i've had so much shit in my nose recently but literally like putting this in my nose like this far obviously i feel it but like it doesn't tickle it doesn't make me uncomfortable doesn't feel weird like it's just like cool great we're about to fess and do a lot of cleaning so it doesn't really matter also i'm not sure if you're meant to like inhale when you do it i'm not gonna do that let's have a go oh, oh yeah you should probably test it first Okay, there we go, a little bit better. Let's try that again. Okay, I did five with that one. And now this other nostril. Excellent. Okay, so for my next one, I have the antibiotic saline water, which I've given a nice shake, and then some gauze. So I'm gonna pull out one piece, and then basically just dip it in. And then I also have this skewer, I guess you could say, because she used a skewer, and she said just try and put it up as far as you can. So this could either go really well or really badly. I'm not gonna use the pointy end for obvious reasons. So I will be using the back part. Uh, let's see how I go. Okay, right, so she has been, oh, she's been dipped in. Holy shit, okay. This is going to be Interesting. Okay, no, that's not too bad. I might try this one. Definitely feels quite wedged up there. It's not feeling uncomfortable. Sorry, this looks really interesting. I was not expecting to have to do this when I went into the clinic today, gonna be honest. I think that'll do it. So I have to leave this for 15 minutes, so it's currently 10.30. I'm gonna leave it, probably brush my teeth and moisturize, and I'll be back. I have brushed my teeth, flossed, 
put retainers in and moisturize my skin. I actually haven't flossed this entire time and I'm someone that flosses every single night. Like I don't care if I got like blackout drunk and I've come home at like four in the morning, like I will finish my skincare routine and I will in fact floss my teeth, like no doubt about it. And so now I'm going to pull this baby out. Oh, yes, pretty. Love that. No, that's not another breathing check. <sighs> Insane, but anyway, last but not least, time to put in my retainer. This is basically what she did, and then she just smeared it around with her fingers. Obviously, I don't want to get any on the insides of the tubes because that's where I'm going to be breathing from. Doesn't really matter about this bottom part where I'm like holding it with my fingers because that's going to be outside my nose anyway. Just some antibiotics and then the way you put it in the tips kind of come in a bit there and then a bit bigger down the bottom that's basically just the way your nose looks if you can kind of envision that so then you just put it in and this part that felt a bit awkward but it's not that bad you just push it in like right now it just feels a bit uncomfortable because it's getting quite high in your nose but now it's on and it's in and i'm done and this is it my nighttime routine is done and i can breathe okay day 15 Post-op, I'm on my way for my two-week checkup. Hopefully, I will be getting the tape off. My nose has definitely gone down in swelling. So we've got my little retainers in. Hopefully, I'll only have to wear them maybe at night time or I won't have to wear them at all anymore. So we will see, but no doubt I'll still have to wear them a little bit. I'm here with gorgeous Rachel Strike once again, Sorry. being my little Uber driver. <laughs> since I've been gone so first of all on I think the third or second day after I went for my last appointment I actually had my dog smash his face into my nose and it really stressed me out because I was there like holy shit as if I fucking have been so careful and then my dog's in my lap and just goes Doom! with this whole skull straight into my face it was I think more of a shock rather than pain I was like oh my god like that just happened and it ended up being fine like it didn't really hurt that much and even now like it's pretty good that being said it hasn't really been that sensitive or painful this whole time even when she was cleaning it she was rubbing fairly hard and she was like is this okay is this okay and i was like it's fine like it just feels like you're massaging my nose otherwise haven't really been leaving the house haven't really been doing anything cool we bought some bags for energy by Jean, which is cool and a few other products which i'm excited to watch in coming time we also are getting our roof replaced today because our house is an old queenslander with an old asbestos roof and it's just leaking and it's not good and we decided that we need to get it fixed and so they're meant to be coming at 12 today and then they literally rocked up at like 6 30 this morning with their stuff <laughs> and then they were knocking on our door at like eight o'clock and i'm here in bed just like oh whatever like we got ages and they're like knock knock hello like knocking on the door and i was like holy shit and i was like naked in bed so i got up and got my dressing gown and just chucked it on just to you know protect my modesty as some may say and i go to answer the front door and my younger sister gia comes out wearing clothes and i'm like oh good like this one's all yours babe so I go back into my room and then she's like um they said they can't start until no one's here so we're actually gonna have to leave like immediately like they need us to vacate the property and i was like oh well actually i have an appointment today and this may be a very poor show of my character but i was like sorry babe you told me you're coming at 12 so i'm <laughs> taking my time then i just proceeded to get dressed do my nose cleaning routine that i showed you guys have a nice breakfast and a cuppa brush my teeth you know grab the car keys make sure i had everything i needed decided to hold off on taking a shit though because i was like you know what like i'll be a little bit nice i can go to rachel strike's house next door and it's all good anyway leave everything's all good get there Rachel's toilet's blocked, can't use it. <laughs> then I'm going on a wild goose chase, like holy shit, like I've just had a coffee, like morning shit incoming, like three, two, one, blast off. And then we ended up going to our dad's house, so I could take shit there. And the rest is history. So here we are on our way to my follow-up appointment. I will update you when I'm there and when we're done. So fingers crossed, tape will be done, retainers will be done. We we'll see. Hello. Okay, so I'm currently just outside the clinic. It's my six week checkup. It's officially six weeks since the surgery tomorrow. The only time I could get in was either today and it's like 10 o'clock right now and my appointment's at 10.30. I just came early so that I knew I'd have time to film and everything. Or I could have come like next week, but I was like, I just want to get in and get checked over because it's one day off of being six weeks and I'm really just hoping that I'll be able to, look, you can see my arm. I'm literally just like, selfie i'm literally at six weeks now so i'm able to go back to the gym we will see what he has to say my nose looks so much better now like so much smaller and so much better before it was literally so fat the day that i got my cast off i was like oh my god like i'm so in love with this nose but now like i look at this and i'm like holy shit i can't believe that i was ever like oh my god like if my nose stays like this forever like i'll be so content <laughs> 
now I'm like literally get fucked. So little update on what I've been doing anyway. So I bought a car. As you may be able to see, it's also really fucking hot right now. I made a little video, which I'll link up here. It's called First Time Leaving My House in Three Weeks. It's everything I did from basically after my second week. So almost three weeks. I was like, oh, a little bit of clickbait goes a long way, whatever. So that's basically what I was doing for a few days there. And since then, I've just been like going to the beach. A lot of it's just repeat. Like I've been going to the organic markets with Summer a lot. We've been hanging out. I've been seeing other people. Like it's nothing too crazy. It was pretty good to be honest. So can't complain at all. It was pretty fun, pretty good. I've basically just been taping my nose and wearing my retainers at night night and then I'll just take them out my retainers in the morning I leave the tape on all day until I basically need to leave the house and then I'll take it off that is how that has been but yeah I bought a new car the Jag the Jag Jag if you've seen that thing from Top Gear you know what I'm talking about honestly it's been good loving it slaying I don't mind if I still have to tape at night and stuff or wear the retainers. Like, it's not that big of a deal, but, like, it would just be nice if I got the all clear to just, like, live my life. I'm most excited to be able to go to the gym and just not really have restrictions, knowing that, like, I can't run, I can't do this, I can't go to the gym, like, I can't do all these things, like, swimming. Like, it just makes it a little bit annoying. Yeah, we'll see how it all goes, but I'm excited. <laughs> which is so good it's definitely a bit warm and the sunlight is a bit harsh and yeah i stay okay it's now day 45 it's sunday the 11th of december it's been over six weeks obviously as you know this is just a really quick look today i slept without tape on for the first time last night the doctor did recommend to continue taping and also wear my retainers but he said i can do it every two to three nights i'll continue wearing the retainers every night only just because he said that if i don't and if i don't wear them then my nose can go back to how it was and the deviation can come back and i don't want that i'm very happy with the breathing anyway this is what it looks like now <laughs> Very happy with it. Honestly, I think it looks so good. Also, just prefacing, my hair is a little bit messy. As you can see, I've got a bit of a bird's nest going on. So, try and ignore that if you can. Now is the time where I will be concluding this video once and for all and kind of just giving like my final thoughts, my final perspectives on this whole experience. Any advice I would give anyone, I don't know why I can't talk right now. I'm really struggling. Let's get into it. So to start off with, I was very satisfied with how this turned out. I think it looks very good. Obviously, I know it can still be like up to a year until it's perfectly in its final form. Even if it stayed how it is now, like I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks very nice. I think it shapes my face better. I feel like I just am so much more confident. And when I went in for my six week checkup, we got another round of photos. So I got some on my consult with my original nose and some now, which I will maybe include if I have them. Looking back at them and looking at my original nose versus now, I am just like blown away. Like it seriously almost gives me like an identity crisis when I would look at those photos because it just doesn't feel like that's me anymore. This is just how I'm used to seeing myself. Obviously it's been six weeks now. Like. I'm just used to this nose. I feel like it looks so much better. I almost have a full identity crisis when I look at my old self, at my old nose, <laughs> old self, how I used to look before the surgery. And I almost just feel like it's not me. Like I almost feel like this is how I was always meant to look. Like I was always meant to have this nose and like, I just was, you know, just, I wasn't born with it. Like it almost just feels like this is how I was always meant to look. And I just had to get this surgery to become how I'm meant to look. Does that make sense? I don't even know. This might be getting a little bit crazy. But anyway, yeah, just massive improvement. I just feel like my whole face has changed. And I feel like people always say that. I knew that was true, but like, it doesn't seem like it. Cause it's like, well, it's only my nose. Like how much is it going to affect the rest of my face? It's made my face look more symmetrical. Cause it was a lot more like off to the side, especially like up the top. And I feel like it's lifted my whole face. Like I just feel like having it with that slope rather than having the bump on it has just pulled everything up. I just think it looks like just, so much better, I guess. I don't really know what else to say. I'm very happy with it. And as I documented throughout my journey with my recovery, I had a very, very good recovery. Obviously there were parts that sucked, but in all honesty, it was really good. Throughout my recovery, I could not breathe through my nose because I had my silicon splints in. That was probably the worst part of it, in all honesty, because I couldn't breathe through my nose for a whole week. So mouth breathing during the day wasn't that bad. It did make eating a lot harder. And also because of the splints, as you saw, like I couldn't smile. I couldn't really open my mouth properly because it's like pulling and there's 
this big thing stuck inside my nose. So it did make it a little bit awkward. Everything was a bit harder. Again, like I couldn't smile. So that was just annoying. Mouth breathing at night was very annoying. I woke up quite frequently four or five times a night because my mouth was just so dry. And another thing, I didn't really have any pain. I did take Panadol four times a day. I also took my Endone at night. I didn't really need to take it during the day because again, like I didn't really have any pain. Kind of just was something I used to help go to sleep. Took my antibiotics and stuff. That was fine. It was a bit of a mission in my opinion, taking all those, those pills. Like I was like, oh, like again, like it's just constant. At the end of the day, it's really nothing difficult. It's not like this is a unique experience to me. Like you're gonna have to take these regardless. My advice would be to really stay on top of cleaning. And what I found was helpful with this was that I would have little ear cleaners or like Q-tips, put them under warm water and then just like clean around inside your nose. And I found this really helped keeping it clean. It was just a lot easier and just a lot better. And if there is anything that my surgeon stressed to me the most, it is clean, 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 clean. Even if you think it's clean, keep cleaning it. Like you want it to be so clean. Don't go too crazy. You don't want to damage anything. You want to be very gentle with it all. But I think it did help. And also when you apply your antibiotic cream onto everything, it works better instead of applying it onto like dried up snot and stuff. So if there is any advice, I would say make sure you buy so many fucking ear cleaners. Like if you think you have enough, you do not. Like I bought so many. I went through probably like two packs of it. Like literally insane. I would clean it pretty much every single time you need to put the cream on. Obviously, if your nose is already clean, like don't feel like you have to go out of your way. But especially when you first get the surgery, it's going to be dry and flaky and gross and you can't blow your nose and you can't just like pick your nose and shit. Like you got to keep it clean. Another piece of advice, especially during your recovery is buy, first of all, healthy food. <laughs> but second of all, try and get stuff where you don't really have to open your mouth hard. Because as I said before, with the splints in my nose, I couldn't really open my mouth properly. Like I couldn't even really open my mouth properly to <laughs> brush my teeth. Like I was kind of brushing and had like my lip hanging down because I couldn't really move my top lip. It was almost like frozen. And just trying to like brush, it became a bit of an effort. Don't shy away from getting yogurts and mushy food. You can get other things as well. I'm not saying you only have to have baby food for like a whole week. I just found it was a lot easier because I did buy certain things where I had to just like break it up in parts and it was hard chewing it. And because your mouth breathing, because your whole nose is blocked, you have to like take really small bites and eat like that. It's just not the nicest experience. But again, like you can get through it. It's not that hard and eventually you adapt to it and it's fine and you can just move past it. It is just a little bit annoying. And I would also say try and get some things to keep you busy because you don't really want to be leaving your house when you have a cast on your face and you have gauze and your nose is runny and you know, you're bruised and everything and swollen. Like you just want to do things the way you can stay at home. You can just chill inside. Obviously feel free to go outside. I actually found it really nice going outside and just getting a bit of sun. It's not like you want to be out there tanning and going to the beach necessarily, but being in the sun for a bit and just spending time outside, getting some fresh air. You can get a lot of cabin fever staying inside. I found that I was getting very, very bored. Didn't want to be here. Just wanted to go to the beach. Just wanted to see friends. And of course you can bring people over, but you also need to remember you are going to be drugged up and you're going to have no energy. And all you are going to want to do is probably just lay down because everything becomes difficult. Even just putting on clothes and picking out clothes. Like I just wanted to stay in the same clothes all the time. I could not be bothered. Got to stay clean. Got to stay fresh. So I did it. It just was a little bit difficult. So maybe if you can kind of pre-plan outfits, not that you really have to, but just have, sh have stuff sorted. Sorry, that did not want to come out. And also with showering, I found that a little bit difficult. Personally, I didn't want to even wet my hair because I didn't want to wet the cast and all the taping. So I kind of just showered with the head down and kind of just wet my body. I still did clean my face. I still had like wipes and stuff and cleaned around it. So it's not that I was just like disgusting and filthy. I found that a little bit annoying. It was just a bit of an effort. So just keep in mind that you won't really be able to wet your face. Showering is not going to feel the same because I find unless I can wet my face, and my head and everything and like give everything a good clean, I don't feel clean. Even if I've used soap and body wash and everything and moisturized my body and stuff and everything neck down is perfectly clean and I've, you know, done wipes on my face, I still walk out of the shower feeling dirty. I still feel gross. I still don't feel nice. You'll get past it. You'll get through it. It's fine. It's just a minor detail. You definitely want to have some kind of like facial wipes or something and maybe even like just some dry shampoo if you don't really feel like washing your hair. It's fine. You'll get through it. Hello. It has been a couple of weeks actually since I last filmed. So you might notice that I look a little bit different. I've got a new haircut. Also got my nails done. We're going to Sydney tomorrow for New Year's. It's currently the 30th of December. 
slow. There was something very important that I did actually miss out and it was that they told me after my surgery to only have a maximum of one and a half liters of water for the first 24 to 48 hours after surgery and preferably for at least the first 32. And now this was a little bit hard for me. I remember like straight after my surgery, I literally gulped down like 600 mils. I was already halfway through. I managed to make it through. And I definitely, as everyone knows, and as I've said so many times already, had a very good time with my swelling and bruising. This may have been a reason as to why. They said it was really important. I followed through. I had a really good recovery and everything. So try and do that if possible, but you know, it's hard. Lucky last on my hit list is the cost breakdown for my surgery. Keep in mind, it's gonna vary from surgeon to surgeon. It's gonna vary depending on what hospital you go to, what anesthetist you get. This is just my experience with my nose as well, because obviously it'll differ depending on what you get done, what your nose is like, etc. So my experience with Dr. Raymond Go goes as follows. The surgeon's fee for the rhinoplasty, the cosmetic side, was $14,430 with an additional $1,000 for the septoplasty. So that brought that to $15,430. And through that, because I had a Medicare referral, I got a rebate of $1,036.80. That brought my surgeon's fee to a total of $14,393.20. My hospital fee, I paid $2,159.65. Again, this can vary between hospitals and there was no rebate for that. So that was just a flat rate that I paid. Then my anesthetist fee, originally I paid $2,275, but then because the surgery didn't go as long as expected, I got a refund of $400. $55. I also got a rebate from Medicare of $443.20 and that brought my total for the anesthetist to $1,376.80. And now if you can add all of my totals together for all three, that brought my total nose job pricing to $17,929.65. So this right here, 18 grand. This bitch that you see on my face, what do I make of that and how do I feel about it? Personally, I'm not too bothered. I was in a very stable financial position. At the moment, I'm not working, but I did have a lot of money saved up. This was completely within budget for me. I still had a lot left over. It's not like I only had a certain amount to spend and that's all I could afford. I had quite a big budget. Obviously, I would like to keep the costs down, but I'm very satisfied. I feel like it's turned out very well and I'm excited to see how it continues to look in the future. I know three people that went to Dr. Go. I just had a lot of trust in him. I knew what I was getting into. I had other people's experiences. He has like a YouTube channel. Personally, I'm very satisfied. I think he did a really good job. I'm very happy. He's a very nice guy like I found in my consult and everything. I felt like I was in very good hands. I didn't have that stress. I wasn't scared like, oh my God, is this going to go really badly? I know a lot of people go places like Bali or Turkey or something else. Personally, that's not something I would have wanted to do. I feel like I would have been way too scared that I would have ended up on botched or something. It was a good feeling. I had no stress going into it. Yes, I was nervous because that was my first proper surgery. And yes, if it did go badly, it could ruin my life, I guess you could say. But I didn't really have that feeling that it would. It was more just nerve wracking going into surgery. Like the nervousness, like what if it did go bad? What if I didn't wake up? I was never really scared like, oh, Dr. Go is going to fuck it up and I'm going to have a horrible nose and my life's going to be over and I'm going to you know, I felt great. I got the cheapest hospital that he serviced at and that is completely fine. And I love the anesthetists. They were very nice, had a nice chat with them. Now, the million dollar question, would I do anything different? Would I change anything? Is there anything I wish that I knew before I went into this? Personally, no. I'm very satisfied with the surgeon and the team and I feel like the timing was right. Yes, the price is a bit expensive. I know you could get cheaper if you went to Turkey or if you went to a different hospital. Like that's not to say that it's necessarily within everyone's budget. But for me, I could afford it. I was happy to pay it. I love the security. I love that sense of safety, I guess, with my surgeon. I feel like it was done very well, as I've said many times. I feel like my healing was very good. Yes, there were a few things, as I said earlier, that it would have been nice to know, but all in all, I would do this whole experience again if I had to. So hopefully this video has helped at least one person or at least entertain people. I feel like this has been such a nice experience for me. I feel like I made the right decision for me at this point in time. By no means am I encouraging anyone to get this surgery. I don't think you should just get it on a whim because you feel like it. This is something that helped me medically with all of my breathing and I've noticed such an improvement with my sleep and the gym. It got rid of a lifelong security. As I said earlier, I've literally wanted a nose job since I was 13. That is eight years. I'm about to turn 22, so almost nine. It's just something that I would have ended up getting eventually and it was just right place, right time kind of thing and it was just the right thing for me to do. So I feel like if you're in the same kind of state of mind, if you're feeling the same way about that, then I recommend looking into it. Maybe look at other people's videos, go through a bit more research, try and find a doctor that works for you. All in all, I am so glad.
vibe. So anyway, thank you for coming on this journey with me. Thank you for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you stuck by me this far, then kudos to you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, more videos to come later. Get excited for my six months and 12 months checkup. I cannot even believe that I'm saying that, but eventually she'll come around. It'll come quicker than I think. Until then, thank you for watching. Take care and see you later.